Hey RJ, Miss Meredith and Lakeisha. All right, y'all, so in this video, I am taking something that I'm going to be using in my bathroom decor. Bathroom decor. Hey, Susie. Hey, Tanya. For my bathroom decor, and I am enhancing it, giving it some bling, elevating the look. Of it. You on your way home? Oh, okay. So that's how it's turning out so far. And I'm just adding my little diamonds and stuff to it. The camera ain't doing it no justice, but yeah. Hopefully you can see it. So yeah. You like it? Thank you. So yeah, getting a little bit more little jazziness to it, you know. I can't wait for y'all to see the bathroom. I did a video on it um last night. I actually started it last night because I couldn't sleep, and I was up to like um. I was up at 2.30 in the morning. I was like, let me get up out of this bed and go do decorate my bathroom. So I got up and I started it last night and uh, pretty much finished it today. But I'm just doing this right here. And then I did some other stuff, decorated some other stuff, bedazzled some other stuff. So y'all will see that um, as well. But how y'all doing today? I would never thought to do something like that, girl. Yes, I had. Oh, y'all going to be surprised on a couple of things that I did today. I did a couple of things. One of them is I made my own curtain tie backs for my shower curtain. Or you can use them for um your regular curtains. And you're going to be shocked what I made them out of. So y'all going to have a video on that. Um... I also, uh, what else did I do? Um, I did some towel folding techniques for y'all. Um, doing this to now on live. Uh, and then I took some other decor in my bathroom and I dazzled it too. And it's nice. It's nice. Y'all like it when you see it. I'm excited to show y'all. So, I'm happy to be getting these areas did in my house because, baby, it's been long enough. So, yeah, sometimes it's it's nice to do some things yourself, you know, because you'll go to the store and buy something like this. Thank you. You'll go to the store and buy something like this, so... Why not um do it yourself, you know? When you do it yourself, you're saving that much more money than buying it. Just take a little time. Make it take you a couple of days. And, you know, just do it yourself. And buy you some little stones and do it yourself. So, yeah. So now I got in mind a couple more things I want to probably dazzle in the house <laughs> you know since i don't really got started with it i'm like mm, okay that 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 look nice i like that you know because y'all know a lot of things that comes dazzle it costs a pretty penny and sometimes it could be like a couple of hundreds you know especially we ain't even gonna talk about the mirrors when we can do them ourselves, right? Those mirrors be costing a pretty penny. So, yeah. 
So, yeah, I may even do a mirror too. Because I got two mirrors in my room that I wouldn't mind dazzling. You know, it's a little thin little edge around it. So it shouldn't take that long to do it. Bay, bay, I'm on video. I'm on video. I like to see how you fold fitted sheets. I always meet the girl. Nah, 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 nah. The fitted sheet girl. <laughs> girl, I'm going to have to watch a couple of videos on that, baby, and then come and show you, like, honey, I've been knowing how to do it, okay? Because other than that, baby, sometimes mine's, honey, on a, on a, on a bad day, it'll get rolled around my hand, okay? On a good day, I just might try to tuck and fold it, honey. But try, please. Ain't nobody got time for them fitted sheets, honey. Mm mm. Mm mm. Not me. And show length in the iron to put it on the bed. Okay. I ain't, I ain't even finna perpetrate with you, baby. Mm hmm. Girl, I remember I had a um a friend and his mama. She used to um press her little. She ironed all her clothes before she hung them up. But the thing about it is, she kept couches full of clothes. Tell me something. She had to iron them before she put them up. That defeats the purpose of even you know. Shit, be trying to be clean, even doing laundry, honey. You got to iron everything. What you said? I watched on YouTube video. Fold the sheets. You can you can fold them perfect, girl. I gotta watch a video. I gotta watch one and see how to do it. But yeah, and she used to iron everything. Iron her sheets that she folded to put in her closet and everything, where it was flat, nice, neat, and all that. Though. But baby, mm mm. No, I ain't got time for that. It'd be nice to know how to do it. Maybe if I knew how to do it, I might consider, but uh and with the way my life is set up and I can barely get laundry put up nah. Try please. I ain't gonna be ironing the stuff before I put it on the hang on it. By the time I put it on it better get straightened out. <laughs> it depends on what it is. It's gonna straighten out when I put it on. Okay. My mom taught me and I fold them with ease. Do you? Okay. What's up, Aries? So, yeah. Girl. But did y'all have a good weekend? My husband said I got too much time on my hands, y'all. I'm trying to decide when I finish this, honey. I think I might know by the time I finish what I'm going to do, but I'm trying to decide when I finish this. I know you brought about that. Okay. But um, I'm trying to decide if, when I finish this if I want to go around the inner, inner edges of this hill or not. I'm going to see. What I want to do. I got a lot of organ organizing I need to do. But I have been tired, y'all. Like, just tired. Just sleeping all the time. Just sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Going to sleep, wake, wake, late, waking up late. And not getting my proper rest. So my body's just really been. Then when the weekend come, baby, I'm ready to hit the streets. So, you know, I've just been exhausted, really. And I've been so tired, honey. I ain't been studying no house. Like, literally, 
y'all been waiting on me to do entryway and bathroom and your your sugar boo ain't even been studying no entryway bathroom, honey. But I just got to it last night, so I'm proud of myself. I did do it last night. But I've been making it, been making these videos for y'all. But I'm telling you, it's been a struggle trying to push through. It's been a struggle. But I'm 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 pushing. I'm pushing y'all. I had to take in the clothes to iron. I was high, I was high school. Hold on. Let me get this on so the school dry. But, um, I don't know if a video will help because my husband has shown me many. <laughs> you still messed up. So your husband know how to do it. Well, hey, Susie, ain't no harm and let me keep on, okay? Look, when you got to, just roll them on around your hand like we, like we already do, honey. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, all right? Ain't nobody got to go in that closet and be upset about it but us. Eventually, you'll get it together. I don't know if y'all rang the doorbell or not, but if you didn't, y'all rang the doorbell for me. If you don't know what the doorbell is, the doorbell is the thumbs up or like button. Hit it for me one time. For the one time. What y'all cooking today? Y'all doing tacos today? I want me some crabs. I don't know if they got the crabs today in my city or it's going to be tomorrow. Which I got a good feeling that I'm probably ain't even going to get them this week at all. I've been craving fish, so I'm making fish. And, ooh, RJ. When I tell you that last night on my mind was some fried fish. And some coleslaw. I still got the coleslaw mix in the refrigerator there. Well, I'm supposed to mix some coleslaw, child. Supposed to be made the coleslaw, and the coleslaw ain't never get made. But anywho, we ain't gonna talk about that right now. But child, I wanted me some fried fish and some coleslaw too. I got me some catfish down in my freezer, and I really wanted me some. I really love catfish. That's that's like one of my favorites, but. I wanted me some good old crunchy tilapia too. That's what I wanted. I know a lot of people don't eat it, but I like me some tilapia, okay? I like me some tilapia. So, that's what I wanted. Some good old crunchy tilapia. But, child, I ain't got around to cooking no fish yet. That fish so sound good. You reminded me of what I was thinking about last night. Because I did say I was going to fry me some fish today or eat me some crabs. But I didn't know if they, um, I don't know if they got the crabs in the day. And I ain't even called to even see. I really didn't. And by the time I thought about it, they probably was would have been out. But I want me some. Yes, and a good old, a good old, ooh, a good old some of everything in it type of salad. Some onion, some bell peppers, 
some eggs, some shaved carrots, some banana peppers, jalapeno peppers, a um, few little olives up in there. Ooh, some bacon bits. I ain't really got to have no meat in my salad. Just give me all the, all the vegetables. Mm-mm-mm. It's so good. Mm -mm -mm. With some Italian dressing on it, and then put you a little ranch dressing with it too, child. Child, honey, why is we over here talking about groceries and no one ain't even got none of this stuff here? None of it, child. We ain't even gonna talk about that naked refrigerator, honey. I need to go grocery shopping. Honey, grocery. Honey, grocery so high you don't know if you want to pay bills or buy groceries. Hey, Chef T. Cheryl. Uh -huh. Girl, I'm talking about Chef T. Hey, Cheryl. Good to catch you live. I cooked ground chicken taco set. Ooh, girl. Don't talk about it, girl. Don't talk about it. I know it's good, girl. I know it's good. Mm-mm-mm. That sound good, too. Cheryl T., did you start using the ground chicken Um, because I was telling you about it, or you was already using it? That ground chicken be good, now. For dinner, I took out some, um, <laughs> I, I want to try to convince my husband, you know, but for dinner, I took out some, uh, some ground chicken and some gym, hot Jiminy sausage and ordered some burrito dinners from Mexican restaurant. Mmm, y'all having Thanksgiving by your house or your mom's house? I'm not sure, but uh, nine times out of ten, it'll be at my house because I always do Thanksgiving. I always do. And so, um, I'm really not sure what's going to happen this year. Like, I don't know. Because now that my family just uh, got their own little family, you know, it's kind of like, okay. Am I going to be doing Thanksgiving for everybody this year or y'all going somewhere? So, and I hate to not cook my own Thanksgiving food because, you know, everybody's food don't be good. And you be mad you be done went to somebody's house and you be waiting on Thanksgiving all year long to go to somebody's house to eat some nasty food. I ain't got time. So, I like to cook my own little groceries so I can have my own food at home because... Honey, you can't depend on folks and they cooking. You be riding here damn hungry wait, waiting on a good meal, honey, from... Oh, shoot, that's the wrong one. You be riding here hungry waiting on a good meal from somebody. What's on the menu? What's up, Tika? For Thanksgiving, I ain't got no menu yet. I ain't got no menu yet. But it, it, it's... Tika, don't start me the line, cause you know I be saying I ain't gonna do, I ain't gonna cook that much, and then next thing you know, honey, I be cooking everything that everything but the kitchen sink, honey, and be about to throw the sink in now. And then I say I ain't gonna cook, and and, and then end up y'all, I'm cooking. But you know what I wish I could have me? Y'all, I want me some mustard greens. Oh, I want some mustard greens so bad. I want me some mustard greens so bad. I want them so bad, baby. Y'all know I had went to church, right? And the pastor, he had, you know, that pastor that had prayed for me and stuff, you know, he had told me that I was delivered from my stomach problems and stuff. I want the mustard green so bad, baby. I believe that the Lord will move, okay? I believe that the Lord is a healer. I believe that the Lord is a miracle worker. I believe that I want to uh, buy me some mustard greens for Thanksgiving and cook them and eat my mustard greens like ain't nothing wrong with my stomach because I have been delivered.
Mm. So, you know, then if my stomach get to hurt, I'm like, Lord, he said it, Lord, he said it. I don't know why he lied on you, Lord. But he told me I was delivered, Lord. So, but I believe he wasn't lying, though. Hey, that's that that when I tell y'all that was a real apostle. Oh baby, that that man was real. He was real, speaking nothing but the truth. So, I believe I'm delivered. I'm just scared to try that. That's all. You know, I be eating spinach, you know, and stuff like that. Be you know, testing it and stuff like that. I ain't never really had problems with spinach. It was the collard greens. But, you know, I be eating the spinach, be thinking something going to happen, but don't nothing ever happen. So, you cooking hen and dressing and chitlins, girl. You know you got to cook them chitlins. Your husband is not going to let you uh, get by and not cook them chitlins, Tika. You know, you know, you know, not that you not, you know. That's number one on the menu. So, time you see some chitlins in the store, you might as well go on and grab them. <laughs> you might as well go on, on Tika. What y'all gonna cook for Thanksgiving? You you fixing turkey wings this Thanksgiving? Yes, ma'am. A must, honey. Ain't nobody got time for them all the them, them, them whole turkeys and stuff, and ain't nobody gonna eat them. Ain't nobody gonna eat them whole turkeys, honey. So you better off, honey, buying you some turkey wings and making you some turkey wings. If you don't do the turkey wings, child, buy you some smoked turkey legs, girl. Who don't like smoked turkey legs smothered with onions and stuff, girl? Bell peppers and stuff, girl. Girl, who don't like a smoked turkey leg, though? Okay. I might do that this year the dang on smoked turkey legs because normally I do the turkey wings. I might do the smoke. Girl, I might do the smoked turkey legs, girl. Mm. Girl, that's gonna be good. Hey Northern Day. Girl, that's gonna be good, good. Girl, say, oh my goodness. <laughs> Girl, you know I ain't going to come to play when I come now. You know I ain't going to be coming to play. I comes to throw down. Mmm. -hmm. Doing a potluck. Yes, we're doing smoked turkey legs. Everyone likes them. Oh, you doing it too, Starla? Okay. Okay, then. Yes, everybody love them a turkey leg, child. Go to the fountain for just one so they can't say they don't eat no turkey legs because somebody going to be lying. And if you want a turkey, baby, you, you, you look like you better cook it yourself. I'm just saying. And then how groceries how to. So, so and my I love dressing. But see me I'm, I'm gonna have to do my husband dressing separate because I realized something about my husband. I think I done told y'all this already though. My husband, he like dressing and I make a bomb dressing, don't get me wrong. But my husband, he don't like my dressing. He do not like my dressing at all. I'm going to tell you why. Because my husband is so used to somebody. His family or somebody. I don't know if it's his grandma or who. But they done been making him a wet dressing for so long to where he don't like a, a done dressing. You know, you're supposed to take your dressing and bake it till, you know, it dried a little bit. You know, get the little crisp on it and all that right there. It don't be dry because mine be moist. Okay, it be moist. But he like those wet dressings. Like, 
it ain't been baked. You know how some people make them drip the dressing and it be wet? Yeah, he like the dressing like that. I don't, I don't like my dressing like that. Mm -mm, baby, that ain't done. It's still moving around and jiggling, honey, looking loose and stuff. Mm -mm. No. I don't know who taught him that that's how dressing supposed to be, but his taste buds is fixed for that type of dressing, and I can't change it. I'm like, babe, that is not how dressing supposed to be, honey. We went to his um family get together one time. You know, they they do Thanksgiving and stuff like that. Child, somebody had to made a dressing, and that dressing was so wet and jiggly. And you, that might be what he likes stove top then, cause I don't know, cause he don't like a thick dressing. He don't like his dressing thick. But um, yeah. Uh, we had them went to that family get together child. They had them somebody had them made some dressing, and I had them fixed him a plate of honey. And he was like, "See, babe, this how the dressing supposed to be." Oh, uh, sir, no, <laughs> this is not it. This is not it, baby. I'm gonna tell you how I know how you know a dressing is good. When you can eat dressing and don't need no cranberry sauce, if you was a cranberry sauce lover, if you can eat dressing and don't need no cranberry sauce, that's how you know cran that, that dressing is busting. Wet jiggly girl. Cooking. Running and thin dressing. Yeah, that's how he like it. Hey, Miss Bridget. Yeah, that's how he like it. Running and thin. Mm -mm. That is not done, honey. They did not cook that. They just put it together. It might be seasoned or whatever, but baby, oh, uh -uh. honey. So, I know I'm going to do some cabbage. He don't eat greens. Your daughter want ham. My husband loves ham, so I got to do ham. I'm going to be checking the prices out when I go to the grocery store shopping because I got to go to the grocery store. So, I need to um check the prices out on these, on these uh, Thanksgiving menu. I need to put me a menu together and um see what these prices going to be looking like. And I can go from there. Cause, uh, yeah, but I know I'm gonna have to do a ham. I know I am. And honey, he won't ham that bad, baby. I got ham already in the freezer. I took my ham and all, and I sliced it, baby. And we can um do the thing with that sliced ham now. It was already it was it was a it was a whole ham. Ham is ham now. He ain't got to be all laid up there, honey, looking all whole hamish and stuff. <laughs> ain't got to be laid. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody got to know that that ham wasn't whole uh, uh, when it came out the freezer. It was whole before it went in now. But they ain't got to know it was whole when it came out the freezer, honey. It's easy. It's, it's, it's easy picker upable right about now. Okay? It's easy picker upable. Honey, you ain't got to cut it. It's already did for you. Okay. Long as it tastes good. That's all that matter. Y'all know my motto. You don't like dressing a turkey? Oh, girl, you don't know what you're missing, girl. What you so what you be eating? Definitely gotta do some candy yams though. I love me some candy yams, but when I do my candy yams, got to have the baked beans, 
I mean, the macaroni and cheese to go with it, which I don't care for macaroni and cheese, but if I have me some candy yams, oh, I got to have me some macaroni and cheese. Got to. Those two, they just, they just goes together. Chillings is an absolute no no in my in my house. And you want he and dressing my step grandmother made him loaf. My husband called it great <laughs> great spam loaf. Seafood stuffed bell peppers sound amazing. Eric, I never heard seafood stuffed bell peppers. What you put in it? You usually cook a spire ham with a Coke and brown sugar glaze. Girl, you better go on. Starla be throwing down over there. Nah, you better go on. And yes, ma'am. Ham, ham really don't take all that much work, honey. We just be doing too much to it sometimes. But when you put that soda in that brown sugar, that's all you need right there. Am I going to cook? I ain't going to tell no lie, Tika. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Hey, Lisa. Bacon wrap pork loins, dressing, mustard greens, potato salad. I'm tired of collard greens and green bean casserole at Thanksgiving. I know that's real. I ain't really too big of a fan of the green bean casserole myself. I don't know what it is I don't like about it, though. But I ain't, I ain't, had, I ain't had a green bean casserole that I like. Somebody got to impress me because I surely ain't had one that I like. Um, it'd be so good. Mm -hmm. You're throwing down on Thanksgiving, so you're going to do some chitlins, dressing. you doing hen dressing or just hen, or, or hen and dressing, Tika? What you going to do, greens? What kind of greens you, are you doing sides with glitter as well? I, I, you know, I really wasn't going to do it. <laughs> I really wasn't, you know. I just wanted you to see the face of it. That's all. <laughs> I, look, I want to just go and hang this on up. That's going to be more time, extra stuff, you know, all that done. Mm -mm, just going to do the face of, you know, the little naturalness. It look all right, you know. It look all right over there. Ain't nobody going to see. Ain't nobody going to see the size. Ain't nobody going to see it. Mm -mm. No, I'm good. Now, if I decide another time to do the sides, then, you know, just in case I might have to move it somewhere else, but in the place where it's going to be at, child, you ain't going to see them sides, honey. You ain't even going to see them. 
Oh, I say I'm thinking about doing up in here right here, but I'm thinking hard. Yeah, you were just wondering, yeah. Mm -mm. Girl, you ain't even got to wonder hard. Your husband making a big pan of banana pudding. Oh, he make a big pan every year. Believe it or not, I ain't really a fan of that. I ain't, but don't, but don't, but don't, but don't. Uh, I'm not really a big sweet eater like that, though, y'all. So. But give me some um some of my socket to me cake. Now we could talk a little bit more about that right now. But I ain't really no big sweet eater. I don't I don't really care for the all oh, your dishes sound wonderful, Lisa. You say you're thinking oh, girl, I'm thinking hard, child. Huh? But look how it's turning out though. It's looking cute. Oh, it ain't even doing no justice. Can't even see it. Gotta wait. Hold on. Gotta see it in a second. Let's see if I can get you. I don't know why I just moved y'all. Then I'm gonna have to try to set you back up. It's delicious. You cook your seafood in uh, what now? Garlic butter seasoned with Tony garlic onion powder. Add some cream cheese, and you bake it. Add rice in, and you add rice. Ooh, that sounds delicioso. What kind of seafood though? What kind of seafood do you add to it? Wait, I think I remember who that is say that. Aries. Who was saying? Was that Aries giving that recipe to that seafood thing? I ain't read the name. So it's different colors though. It's only silver. Um, actually what it is, is it's um stones. And you know how stones have that A B look to it, like, you know. It, it shines different colors, but it's not actually different color stones. It just shines like that. You never cook chillings in your house. You had to eat them at your mama and my dad raised hogs. I know you know how to make sausages, liver, put in, fat back from scratch, season the ham. And pepper to what? You better go on, Lisa. Lisa say she was country country. I know that's right. I love my country folks. Now, y'all be eating good. I mean, y'all know how to eat, y'all. Like, come on, try some of this him Lizzo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, come on, get some of this lizard here, girl. This lizard good. You ain't never had no lizard till you had my lizard. I know I had. I know you right. All right. I don't even know if I want some of your lizard either. Uh, swamp catfish. Uh, oh, shrimp, catfish tails, and cra Ooh, that sounds so good. Crawfish tails. I'm talking about crack catfish. That sounds good. 
Yeah, you is the one, Aries, that was telling me about that before on the other channel. Child, yeah, they be around here eating lizards and bear and, and, and everything, honey. I ain't stuff I ain't even I ain't even know you could eat a bear. But honey, they around here eating bear and everything. They say bear good. Y'all ever tried y'all some bear before? Some bear meat? <laughs> I bet you Sue's over hell now. <laughs> I can hear now. <laughs> Y'all ain't never had no bell. Y'all ain't country. Y'all is not country. You ain't country till you had some bear meat. That's a big no. <laughs> yeah. No to the no. <laughs> Y'all got to try y'all some bell. You might like it. If I, if I was at a big country fest, you know, cookout, something like that, you know, a country festival, I might try the bell. I ain't never ate gator neither. I know that ain't country, but to some people it is. But I ain't never ate gator either. I want to try some get Girl, um... I was watching, I, I mentioned the bell, because I'm not eating anything that you, that can eat. <laughs> <laughs> you eat them fishes, tell you. You eat fish, don't you? Them little chickens, they'll, they'll eat you too. Who oh, get their time wrong. I bet you they'll eat you. But, um, uh, what was I finna say? Oh, I be watching. Um, do y'all watch um Art Fennell? Snake. Yeah, no bell for me. Yeah, do y'all watch Art Fennell? So if y'all watch Art Fennell, then y'all know. And, and if you don't know, um, Art Fennell, if you go over, honey, tell them I told y'all about him. If y'all go over after y'all hear about this too. But anywho, um, he um. Went to one of his friends' house. He was invited to a, a, a country cookout or whatever. And um, child, they was cooking bell. They was cooking rattlesnake. They had um, coon. Um, uh, catfish stew. You have a rattlesnake. It's nothing. It's nothing great. I heard it's good. Thomas like tastes like chicken. They had frog legs. Kind of like a. It tastes like an old alligator. <laughs> Not an old alligator. What the old? I don't even know what a new alligator tastes like, huh? A young one tastes like so. Uh uh. But yeah, they had a hundred. They would eat. It was rabbit. Yeah, they was. You like rabbits? Oh, you like rabbit and squirrel, but squirrel, but you don't like no coon. All right, Starla, you have a good one too. Thank you for stopping in. Now I had some rabbit. Y'all know I cooked the rabbit before, but the rabbit, you know, they kind of have like that little. Gave me taste to it a little bit. I can't remember if I soaked it in some buttermilk or not. It probably would have got rid of that taste.
But you know, the rabbit one no worse than eating um lamb. Cause them lamb chops they have that they they really ain't. Some people like them, but I might need to try them again and soak them in some milk or whatever. But they weren't all that either. They had like a a bad gamey taste to them too. I hear rabbit tastes like chicken. Not the rabbit I ate. My rabbit ain't taste like no chicken. People love the hollow song. Tastes like some chicken. That's what they say about them frog legs. They might, it might taste like... I'm going to tell you why I think they say everything tastes like damn chicken. Because they um probably be throwing it in some chicken flour or something. Uh, they don't season that flour with some chicken. They don't throw it in some grease that some chicken was fried in or something. Uh-uh, baby. You fried in something that chicken ain't been in. And then tell me if it tastes like some chicken. Because somebody lying. Real strong and old tasting. That might be how that lamb tastes when I tried that lamb because it had like a strong, gamey taste. She said strong and old tasting. Ooh. Uh uh. Honey, I, you know what I was thinking, honey? Eating rattlesnake, right state, the snake. Like, how you know they got all the, the poison out of it, you know? I'll stick with beef, chicken, pork. Y'all can have the rest. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right because I don't even know if I want no coon but they say coon good too that what they say now now goat I'll tear down some goat now that goat me baby give me goat all day long I, I, I love me some goat some curry goat ooh Try that goat be good. Now goat taste now goat don't taste like chicken. Goat tastes like um some pork roast. I mean some beef roast. A good roast. When you cook it right. I can't eat musty meat. Oh, oh, um, goat show enough musty. Now I ain't gonna tell no lie. They had your house stinking for days. I remember when I made it. Grandma was like, "It smelled like a nanny in here." I swear, I ain't even know a nanny had your house smelling like nanny for. Uh, like you need a nanny, <laughs> honey. It have your house stinking. Days, and it's like a like a strong little stench. I'm kind of thinking, y'all, if I want to go on up in here, I ain't gonna put them close together. So like, I'm just gonna put a strip. I ain't mean to say I wasn't going to put them close together, but I'm not finna stagger them and all this right here. And I'm just finna do me a little line on up in there. Just get them on there. That's going to take too long trying to stagger and stuff. Love gator bites so good. I'm going to have to try some gator.
But how's the weather in your area? <clears throat> no, I haven't heard from Lydia. Mm -mm, I haven't I haven't heard from her at all. And I wonder if I was, if she ever emailed me or anything, because I can check on her like that if she did. I don't know if she I don't know if she emailed me. I gotta I gotta see. If she ever emailed me. Why did I start this? Now I got to go all the way around. <clears throat> when I could have been done. Being extra. But anywho, I'm going to make some... Um, tonight I'm going to cook some hamburger helper. I don't eat hamburger helper, but I am going to try it tonight. Because that's for my husband. He picked out at the grocery store, so tonight is definitely the night to make some hamburger help or something quick. And so I'm going to make some hamburger help. Um, <clears throat> some fried pork chop, chop. Hamburger help to me is like, okay, you can't have no hamburger help without no meat. Okay, I know it got meat in now. That's just like spaghetti. The spaghetti got meat in now. But you need still need some chicken or some pork chop on the side. So I'm doing the hamburger helper, some fried pork chop, and we're gonna have us some garlic bread to go with that. And that's gonna be dinner. So hopefully I like this hamburger helper. And it's gonna be boxed too. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why I don't like hamburger helper. Don't do hamburger helper. Probably never really ate hamburger helper because my daddy was now one of those type of quick meal type of people. So it ain't really too much of box nothing that I like. It's in the 80s today, perfect weather. That's how it was. Um, when was that? Oh, yeah, today. Yeah, we was in the 80s today here, too. Cheese for her requires too much milk, so you stop buying them. What? I ain't even think about. Oh, I better send my husband to the store because I ain't. Even, I didn't even know, child. You need milk like that, babe. Close the door, uh, babe. You got to go to the store, get some milk. They say that hamburger helper need milk in now. No, he says they don't need no milk. Ugh. Is it a helper without milk? 
Oh, because that powder cheese stuff. Hold on. You gotta go get some milk. The hamburger helping need milk in it. I ain't even know. Look, cheap. That's the one he got. That's the one he got the cheese for going. Hey, that that little line of digital justice to it. Right now, like that, right now. Somebody else, y'all gonna try this? You feel inspired? Did I inspire anybody? They ain't got nothing to do. Just get in there and do your little crafting. Get you a little wine. You don't need no time wine. And these are little, little crystals. And something in your house that you want to you make your own the air bling, yeah. You make your own. You have inspired me to start thinking of days for Christmas. Yeah. Oh yeah. Some about making um stuff for people. Okay, so when you make your own hamburger helper, do you do the cheese sauce and all that stuff for it? Like what you do to yours? So you saying you don't use that little powdery cheese? Oh DIYs, yeah, I figured that's what you were saying. I got you, girl. Got you, couple, girl.
start buying toys early for a granddaughter. How old is your granddaughter? Child, these children don't play with toys no more. That's why I was asking. Yeah, I'm told my, they'll play with it the first day. The next day, baby, that, that toy is out there up under, up under the car. Making your own probably doesn't require so much milk. You used to buy two boxes, which needed four cups of milk. Okay, so when you make your own, what y'all be... Do you make a cheese sauce? Baby, ain't got no Velveeta in them. I got some Velveeta slices. But I need that for my grits. Oh, y'all, um, Susie had a change of life, y'all. Speaking of grits. Susie was a, um, a sugar lover in her grits at one point in time until she tried the cheese grits, y'all. And she said that that is way much more, way more better. Told y'all them cheese grits back would be busting and creamy. Mm. Not no more. You never, you never made it homemade. Not no more. You don't like the cheese grits no more, Susie? Cause of your stomach. It surely is the best I ever had, Susie. I come on, man. No sugar no more. I know that's right, girl. I know that is real. Sugar don't go in grits, child. Sugar. <laughs> Susie, what did you think when you first ate it, Susie? What came to your mind? You were like, what was you doing? <laughs> what were you thinking with the sugar? Like who who started me with this? Myself and five of my been giving back the community throughout the year. We are getting ready to do final giving in twenty twenty three. We are buying cases of cans to give to stew pot. Huh? That's good, Aries. That you do that give back. Much respect to you. I might get some sleep tonight, though, because I don't know why I'm not tired right now. Like, I really should be tired. But you know what? It's probably good that I did do this right here, a little tedious thing. Because um, I need something that's going to wind me down from the, the decorating and stuff I've been doing today. 
because I didn't go to sleep. I, um, what time? Okay, so I couldn't sleep last night. I finally, so since I couldn't sleep, I got up by 2.30, started decorating my bathroom. Then, I don't know what time I finished doing that. Didn't go to sleep until about 5 this morning. Woke up at 9.30. Ate me some breakfast by 11 something. Um, I haven't eaten anything since. I don't know why I'm big, y'all. Probably because I uh, honey eat more than a little bit at when you know when I do eat. But you know, we ain't gonna talk about that right now. But anywho, um, so ate breakfast about eleven something, and I started getting sleepy. So I was like, well, let me get up from here and start doing something because I got plenty that I can do. But I was getting sleepy or whatever. So I just got on up. And I've been up ever since 9.30 with by four hours of sleep. So I intentionally didn't go back to sleep because I wanted to get some rest tonight. So I'm, ho I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I got myself off this little crazy schedule. So tonight, at least by... I don't even know what time it is. But at least by nine, I uh wanna be asleep, but I know me. I could be looking at TV, looking at some stuff I wanna watch. That'd be my time to look at TV. I could be looking at TV. And then this thing, you know, TV goes from, honey, to about 3 in the morning. Then it's like, now I want to sleep to about 11, 12, 1. I don't lay the one, but sometimes I will not. You let me. If I don't think about child, I got to do a video, child. I got to do a video. You can't lay your girl. I'll show later. You like sugar in your grease, uh, uh, Tico. Try the cheese in there. Try it one time. One time, uh, Tico. And let me know what you think. Just one time. That's all I'm asking. Try it one time. It's going to change your life. Without the sugar, though. Add cheese, not the powder cheese. Okay. Uh, let's see. I got some um some some Kobe cheese. Come on, what the show about to come on? Your show about to come on? Okay, then, Aries. I enjoyed you, too. Talk to you later. Thank you for stopping in. But um, I'm about done, too, y'all. I ain't going to hold y'all too long because I got to go in here and get uh cook and get me a shower and stuff and try to get ready to lay down early. Well, try to go to sleep early. Try. I'm going to try. I don't know how successful I'm going to be at it. But don't leave me yet. Let me finish this here. I really only just want to show y'all this. I don't want to show y'all where I'm putting it at because y'all going to get the video on that. And that's cheating. So... I'm just going to show y'all me doing this here. You like cheese grits the best? They the best? So creamy. Mm, mm. I was supposed to go to the store today. Get me some uh, shower curtain rings.
Oh, speaking of shopping, I've been thinking about the rug for the hallway, y'all. And I'm kind of undecided. And then I'm like, okay, did I really like that um that red rug? But I don't know if I really like that one or not. I don't know if I really liked it, that rug, y'all. I don't know if I want to take that red down the hallway or not. Or I was also, I don't know if I want to, I don't even know if, I don't know what I want to own. I don't know. I'm kind of undecided on what I want to do as far as um the hallway rug goes. But I know I want me a long rug. It's going to be, it's going to be hard to try to find a rug long enough for my hallway because i need a rug that's at least about 12 to 14 feet long and if y'all don't know rugs really stop at like seven feet six feet seven feet so i need me one i want one that's about 14 feet where do I get a rug like that from, honey? I might have to. Y'all think I might have to make it myself? <laughs> I want one by that. By 14 feet. What you doing, girl? That's pretty girl. Thank you, girl. What's up, Regina? Okay, so I'm done with it. And I don't think I'm going to do the top edge. I didn't want to, but look like, oh, that's going to take, what time is it? Uh, I think we can get away with not doing the top edge, y'all. I'm going to be going to move this thing up a little higher so you can't see it. If I do the edges, I'm just going to glitter it. But I really don't want to glitter it. I really don't. I don't, I don't feel like doing all that. Get two and put them together. You talking about like sew them together or something? Because I ain't got no sewing machine and don't know how to sew enough to sew a rug together or do you think i can use some of that little no nah, the little tape stuff ain't gonna work two on will work though because that is 14 feet No, just lay them down. You think that'll look right? Just I might try that. That's a good idea. I don't knock one off. Alright, today is a good day for a good day. With the gap in between. It look good. That's how you have mine. So, so y'all got two rugs? Why y'all ain't tell me y'all had two rugs in y'all hallway, but now y'all want to tell me. Thank you, Danielle, but now y'all want to try to tell me that y'all got two rugs in y'all hallway. Why y'all ain't been told me y'all had two rugs in y'all hallway over here? 
And when I mentioned the two short rolls, ain't nobody told me about the two short ones. But now y'all want to tell me about some two long, hard, two. I could have been there, two rolls. I could have been been. So now we, <laughs> oh, you did. Oh, I ain't see you. <laughs> Huh? Okay, let's see if I can get y'all get it good. Okay, look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at her. Look at her child. I ain't asked. Y'all supposed to told me. But like, Tiana, you know you could just get you two rugs. Y'all remember I was in that store and I was over there trying to put them two short rugs together. Some of them, do you think this will look right? All right, I'm looking rough. Huh? So, that's it, y'all. That's all. Ooh. That's it, that's all. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm finna go ahead on and let y'all go. I finished that. Y'all will see where that is going. Coming up. It's going to look nice. It sure made that picture look fancy, girl. Then the girl. Then the girl. So, I'll um, chat with y'all a little later. I'm going to get in here and go um, get me a shower, get dinner cooked, and all that good stuff. Shop at home and save your coins. Exactly. So, we got a lot more stuff, honey. That we got to do around this house. It ain't done, honey. This is the perfect channel. I just had to get the energy up to be doing all this stuff. But, child, honey, but yeah. So, anywho, um, it's a lot more things that I want to do. I got organ. I got organizing that I want to do. Like, I wanna, I wanna get my house. I think my bedroom is gonna have to be the last thing because. Doing my bedroom, it's going to be expensive. And I got to get my coins up for that. So, I got to get to work. And I ain't started getting paid over here yet. So, good night. So, yeah. Yeah. We got to get them coins on up for that. So, in the whole, um, because, honey, I need mattress, honey, everything. And I really want what I really want to do. I don't want to get rid of my dressers and stuff that I got because I like my dresser because they're real good, sturdy wood. But I've been thinking, and I was like, you know, I want to try to sand, sand down my dressers and repaint them and put new knobs on them and give them a new look. But I don't know how to do that. But I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to try and you know to do it. And anything I put my mind to, I know I can do it. I know I can. So later on in the future, sometime you know it might be a long time from here. But you know, y'all know I talk about it. I think I might want to um try to repurpose my dresses and stuff to give them a a new look instead of having to buy some more when ain't nothing wrong with them. They just need to be. Um, sand it down and giving a a better, fresher, newer, more modern look to them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I got some things. I got some things planned for for this channel. It's just paint on silver. I got some things planned. I got some things planned. That would be a good idea with the rug in the hallway. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get them too. 
I'm gonna get them too. But that one that we looked at, they only had one. So now when I go looking again, I'm gonna get me two of them and put it in the hallway. So oh, when y'all put it down, did y'all use that little rug grip stuff to keep them from sliding? And if you know of a good one, uh, that you use, if you do use it, um, Susie and Mimerita, since that's what y'all do, the little grip stuff for the rug. Email it to me that way I know because I've got some, but it's this little yellow one, little tape one. But I don't know, I don't, I don't know if it'll work that good for that rug because it don't keep the ends from flipping up. It don't do that. But as far as um, walking on and keeping it from sliding, I don't know about that part because the rug that I used it on, uh, I used it on a real big one in my living room. And I already had stuff sitting on it, so it really didn't slide. And then um, I use it on the one that's at my dining room table. And the table is sitting on it, so it don't slide. So only thing it is, that it don't keep the ends from rolling up or whatever. So, yeah. But, yeah, other than that, uh, if y'all know of a good one, then let me know. My rolls are heavy. They don't roll up. And that and that makes a difference, too. That make that makes a difference. You got to buy the good rolls, child. <laughs> Okay, I ain't got them Persian dollars, okay? <laughs> I ain't got the Persian dollars yet, girl. But it will, I'm going to get them, though. We're going to speak that thing into existence. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. I love y'all. Peace, love, and blessings to each and every one of y'all. To the next one. I am out.